everybody, it's Brittany from the blog CountrysidalFarm.com and today I want to share with you what I use to homeschool my kids. When people find out that we homeschool our kids, they are always asking the question, what do you use to homeschool your kids? And it's really simple. We use the good and the beautiful. First off, what attracted you to the program? Well, when we were doing public school and my second oldest, Evan, was in kindergarten, he needed some supplemental work because he was really behind other kids and they were pulling him out for a resource and it was just really stressing him out because they just stuck him on the computers and he really hates computers right now and it just was not a good situation. So I kind of always wanted to homeschool my kids and this was kind of like the pushing point for my husband and he made a deal with me. <laughs> he said that if I could get Evan caught up with the rest of his class that I could homeschool the kids next year. Good and the Beautiful has assessment tests for language arts and you take these assessments with your kids to kind of place them in which one, which level that they'll be in. So um, I had Evan take the preschool, the kinder primer, and the level K and we felt that, le that the level kinder primer was the right fit for him. And after a month of using Kinder Primer, he was not only mastering all of his letters, but he was beginning to read. And that was huge. And I won the bet. <laughs> I got to homeschool my kids. And that's what we are using for all of our kids, all of subjects, except for my oldest son's math, because they don't have math out for him yet. But yeah, that's what attracted us to the program. The second question I get asked a lot about is what is the good and the beautiful about? Well, the good and the beautiful emphasizes on family, God, high moral character, nature, and wholesome literature. They also have designed this program to be open and go, so it's little to no prep work. They have high quality curriculum for a very affordable prices. You really can't beat it. The third question I get asked about is what do they have to offer? They have language arts, they have history, they have science and health, they have handwriting, they have math, um, they have electives like typing and creative writing, art projects, they really have a wide variety. Does the good and the beautiful go by grades? They actually don't go by grades, they go by levels. So that's why it's important to go and have your children take the assessment test so that way they are placed in the right levels that they need to be at. Thanks so much for stopping by the farm. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Don't forget to check us out at countrysilofarm.com and on our social media pages. Until next time, God bless.